everything that you see here is 99.9% .9 the students' effort of creating this monumental piece of artwork. How it started was I was elected out of uh, my class because of you know, my art. And, and we had to show our work in a portfolio before a panel of people um, that included me. Here, Massey was in the room. I had to walk in and uh, show my artwork. And I was excited, but I was scared and shaking at the same time. I, mean, I was getting ready to, like, to trip on my ankles and on my heels. I was like, that's how scared I was. So it was I, a very nerve-wracking process, having to wait in that line, because I'm thinking, oh my god. I am the youngest person in the mural project. I started when I was in sixth grade, and I was asked only a few questions. I was pretty nervous. But I showed him my stuff, and I explained it to him, and I thought it really good. So. It kind of made me a little more relieved, and then I just waited. And so after New Year's was when we all got our letters um, for who would be working on the mural, and um, when Ms. Kadri gave us our letters, I didn't want to open mine. I wanted to see who got theirs and who did it, and, and I was so excited. I couldn't wait to help him believe it. I was really amazed at what I didn't think I could do that. Mr. Massey taught us about how to break up space, like so it can so that the piece can have harmony and that it can flow really well because murals have to have rhythm. And so in the beginning of the drawing process, we branched off into our own little groups and we started thinking of ideas that could potentially go into the mural. But um, they put me in a whole different environment where like I'm um, actually with um, the people I worked with, my classmates, we actually have to um, talk about stuff. I'm really like a solo guy, so I have to uh, communicate with everybody else. That was uh, really interesting to go through with that. And uh, we had a uh, college student come in saying like, oh, that's nice, that looks pretty cool, yeah. First we had to ideate like what we wanted to put in the mural first. And we, we all put together like, what do we want to put in it? Like to represent something about where we live, Michigan, so. In the brainstorming part where we all got to create our own my idea was a conveyor belt which would take our produce or what Michigan makes and ship it out to you know other countries or other states. The big thing that was taken out of my work, my sketches, was the face and the hands. I just at first it was a guy in a hood, but Mr. Massey said I couldn't date it. The idea was the flags that are on the boy, um, the main person in the mural's shirt. We actually used references, and one of our references was Samara, and she actually posed as the woman who's picking the crops. I had been over for 10 minutes, like it was my back was hurting, and my neck was hurting too. And I... The canvas together was kind of itchy because I really never put anything together like this. I was kind of like, Oh my God, I had, to, I had to make canvas, I, I, was, telling, I was looking forward to painting, but... We had to, you know, stretch the canvas out, get um, what they call a... The rabbit glue. When you put the rabbit glue on the board, it just, it, it just tightened, like... It was different, I've never seen anything like it. That's what I said, so I had to learn how to use the tools, I had to learn how to nail them in, how to, um, how to put everything together. But making everything from scratch is a completely new process for me. First, we had to, um trace it out. We use like little chalk sticks. There's an old saying, if you uh, give a fish to somebody, yeah, then they can eat for a day. But if you teach them how to fish, some of the they can fish for the rest of their lives. I worked on this fish here. I worked on maybe one or two fruits. And then I made a wheel. I did the portion where there's like a lady and she's picking the crops. Half them, like I worked on a lot of different things. I didn't have one thing. I just whatever they needed me to do, I did it. Every time I knew when I came up the stairs that I would be painting the face, and I was so worried, but it came out so great. <laughs> I love like you know waiting to come here. It was like I was really eager to come here. And working with um, my friends and stuff, it was really, I made new friends, it was really fun. Not only did we coexist with each other, but we learned from each other's mistakes and we joked around and 
we're like a big family in the house. So the mural is going to be placed at Grand Valley Seedman Building and it's going to be there for a lifetime. And this year is going to be great and I, I just can't wait to you know, take my face up there and the mural with everybody just to see how things will go and see if we, you know, we get a place in the art prize this year. And it's great to know that I will be in history. Like my, I'm going down in history. I could bring my grandkids or whatever up here and show them, you know, that's me. This is what I did when I was your age. Like my name will be remembered. I'll make a mark. I'll be here. Nice if other parts of the community would let us show our artwork there and let us do more projects because they're amazing. Working with Hubert Massey was amazing. We began to learn from the master himself. Man, working with someone famous, like, it's, it's not, not something that happens every day, like, Hi, I'm the Dean of CCS and I really want all of the teachers at SCS to collaborate with CCS faculty and students to do great cool stuff.